Welcome to the Exploring New Jersey podcast, where we discover what it's like to live, work, and play in towns throughout New Jersey. Join us as we visit these communities, meet the people, and of course, try the local pizza and give you a real-time opinion of what it's like here. And now for your hosts, Scott and Pete. What's up, guys? Welcome to the first ever episode of Exploring New Jersey. Uh, my name is Pete Kopeck. This is Scott Cummings. And today we are exploring the town of Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. Scott, what's going on, brother? What's going on, my man? Not much, man. So, uh, all right. So we're here at Heights Barn Grill. Yep. Uh, enjoying. I got an IPA. You got a nice uh, Coors Light. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> what's the matter? Now, nah, Coors Light, it's not as respectable as an IPA, but... Um, Watch my figure. Yeah, right. Watching the figure. So, all right, cool. So, so today we're going to talk a little bit about Hasbro Kites. You know what we know about it, what we've explored so far, and what our impressions are yeah. of being here in town. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So we're gonna. I'm just gonna kick this off real quick, uh, just with some some general information, some numbers. Cool. Sounds okay. good. Okay. So we know that here in Hasbro Kites there are is a population of twelve thousand two hundred and ninety one. Okay. Uh, the median age is forty three. Point six two. I don't know, point six two. 44. 44, <laughs> 43 to 44 years old. Uh, the median household income is 102000 uh, And when we go into housing, uh, in the year of all of 2022, the average sold price was $605,052. Okay. Uh, so talk to me a little bit about where Hasbro Heights is located. Yeah, so I guess we could call this Lower Bergen County. Yep. Right? Southern Bergen County. Southern yeah. Bergen County, for that matter. Um, part of Route 17 runs directly through Hasbro Heights. Um, it is probably one of the closest parts of Bergen County to easy access to the city. Would you agree with that? Yeah, super easy to get in, in and out of right. the city. I was noticing even just driving around, it seems like there's a lot of public as- access to, uh, to get to the city. Um, so I would say that if you're uh, possibly a young individual that still commutes to the city, uh, we're 43, 44 years old commuting to the city. Uh, you'd fit in right, very well here. Um, I think that it's pretty close and centralized to everything. Um, even just driving down the boulevard, really starting to notice that there's um, some liveliness to it, but still has a very residential feel. Yeah, for sure. Suburbs, for sure. Totally. Right? Um, and just for, you know, if you're looking at it on a map or frame of reference, we're in Bergen County, like you said. Uh, some towns that surround it is Lodi, uh, Woodridge and Carlstadt. Moonaki, uh, South Hackensack, Teterboro, and Hackensack. For a small town that touches a lot of different towns. Right? Yeah, it does. And you know, some of the some of the major highways, I mean, you've got Route 80, Route 46, and Route 17, all almost completely converged. Chris crossing right there, yeah. Yeah, right here. So commuting is super easy if you drive. Um, you know, some areas sometimes feel like the hot once you get off the highway right it's like another 20, 20 30 minutes, minutes. There, yeah. not so much i guess here in north jersey but as far as heights goes you're right here totally which one of the downsides is traffic yeah of course i mean can't argue with traffic especially route 17 i know that could be a nightmare rush hour um i've experienced that firsthand on my way trying to get to 208 <laughs> route 4 so yeah. it's 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 real. 17 is probably the worst, I would say, in, per, in the Paramus area. Mm-hmm. But here, yeah, any any highway around rush hour here in North Jersey gets gets pretty jammed up. Um, but one of the positives is there's a lot of shopping in the area, right? Yeah, I, I would say if you don't really have to travel that far, I know there's a ton of small businesses on the boulevard, too. So depending upon what your you know professional uh, industry... Sorry, guys. We're at a bar. We got a lot of guys that are uh, locals here. It locals seems. here at the bar. Um, yeah, but, but yeah, so it seems like there's a lot of industry here too, considering it's a, that it's a residential town. If there's some way that you can even tap into a business that's local, then you don't have to worry about um, you know traffic, so to speak. Yeah. yeah. But good, a lot of malls, a lot of things like that, big box stores, all that stuff. But I love the. Your, your, it's a great point. One of the like charming parts of of this town is the boulevard. Mm-hmm. Um, so the boulevard is you know. Again, a, a main strip, so it's pretty much you know your what you would consider main street, right? Yeah. Almost a busy has, road. Yeah, um, busy road. A lot of shops, small um, shops, bars, heights, so to speak. Where we are right now exactly. is, is right on the boulevard, and that's actually where uh, the main NJ Transit bus goes right okay. down, right down Got on it. boulevard here. So that's where you would pick that up as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, and you know, 
a lot of the restaurants here are, are very good. Um, you know, when I look at Yelp, you know, the number one Yelp restaurant is Sophia's Mediterranean Grill. Okay. Um, so have you, have you been to Sophia's before? I have not. I haven't adventured too much into the Mediterranean spots. Um, building a palate for it. So okay. To speak. Well, we'll get you there. Like I said, I wasn't, uh, wasn't much of a Mediterranean food, but it's an acquired taste and you start to build it. But anyway, Sophia's is very good. If you go, you have to try their hummus. It's homemade. Okay. It's silky smooth. It's delicious. Uh, and their baba ganoush is really, really good too. No, no. Um, another spot that I've gone to, um, is, um, the risotto house. Okay. Good Italian spot here on the boulevard. Uh, and then there's a Thai place here. Let me see if I oh, can I saw the find Thai it. place actually when I was driving. Yeah, and there's a new sushi place. I think it's new. I, I haven't seen it before, but I definitely want to try that place. Okay. Um, but just tons of restaurants, tons of shops. There's dog groomers, trophy, you know, uh, store. Let's see, what else is here? Of course, like your banks, insurance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. What did you call it before? Uh, TD Bank? No. <laughs> Which one? Real Estate Row. Oh, yeah, it seemed right. like Real Estate Row. There were a lot of small, like, uh, real estate companies right on the block here. Um, so it definitely seems like there's a... A lot of small offices. A lot of, lot of small offices, and, and uh, of course, the high school and middle school are also here right on the... It's like one block over, right? Yeah. Or right. is it on actual boulevard? It's a, No, it's on the boulevard. Okay. I mean, it spans through a couple blocks or Got two it. blocks or whatever, but... Um, Have you noticed any issues with parking on the boulevard, though, in terms of the difficulty of finding parking? I'm sure depending upon the time of day, right? Yeah, it depends on the time of day. I'd say what's good, what, they're, what is good about the boulevard here is they do, I think it's two-hour parking. Okay. So, you know, the... <laughs> when he Try gets to keep you, people moving. Yeah, when the parking enforcement guy gets you, you don't love it. But mm -hmm. when you need a spot and you know that there's always stuff opening up, that's actually where it's Got a good it. thing. Keep so, it uh, yeah, two hour parking on the boulevard. I think maybe uh, I think it's within certain hours of the day. Cool. So you said something about a buddy of yours told you that there's no overnight parking though, too, right? Yeah, no, yeah. So there's no overnight parking here okay. uh, in Hasbrook Heights. Uh, there's really two main reasons that I've always understood them doing it, um, which is. One, just keeping an eye, eye on who's in town, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's suspicious. Safety precautions. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, they're keeping keeping that clear. And then um, just because there's a lot of commuters, you know, they don't want people parking for extended periods of time. Uh, I guess overnight, I don't know why that would be an issue. But I'll tell you what, growing up in Clifton, I wish they almost implemented that too because you do have a ton of people parking in front of your house just because it's a convenience factor. So... Um, if you have a long enough driveway, it could work to your benefit in Hasbro Heights. Yeah, so that's a good point, right? If you're renting, yep. you want to oh, make sure. sure parking is super important, which also from a landlord perspective, if you own a property that has parking, you can charge a premium for that apartment because parking is such a commodity here. Makes sense. Commodity, is that the right word? Anyway. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Limited. <laughs> um, Valuable, but limited. So, yeah, and... Um, Let's see. So let's talk a little bit more about like the residential part of it, right? Mm -hmm. What What's something that you noticed about some of these neighborhoods when we were driving around earlier? Uh, I've even done a couple open houses here, and I've noticed that a lot of these homes do seem to become more modernized. You know, I think these this town is kind of founded in the late 1800s from what I think. Um, so it seems like a lot of people have kind of really modernized and renovated a lot of homes. So you're starting to see more of that like exposed wood and darker colors gray finishes so i am noticing a lot of people like are getting trendy with their homes that you do really notice it when you're driving down the street yeah um, seems like everybody's kind of like adapting to the more um modern looking homes than say other areas where it might be kind of all dated in a certain degree would yeah. you agree with that yeah i mean i've always loved the the hasbro kites you know kind of feel it kind of has like that hack and sack like old almost like victorian kind of type of feel but definitely like brought up into you know the 21st century or yeah, whatever yeah. and updated so i mean some of the houses are just absolutely gorgeous when you drive around totally. a lot I of mean, brick exposed and stuff too yeah i mean i think one thing to keep in mind if you're not familiar with hasbro kites would be that it is pretty hilly that I've noticed. You do I have not. It'd be tough to ride your bike <laughs> from, to your friend's house if you were a kid. But good workout, good workout for you. But yeah, it's definitely you know some of the some of the yards are are tighter, right? The houses yeah. are definitely. I mean, it's a northern New Jersey. They definitely sit more. You know, fifty by hundred lot. Would you agree with? Yeah, maybe in some cases maybe tighter, a little bit smaller. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not too many that you're seeing. You don't get a ton of land, so to speak, right? You're not going to have 
uh, double lots. If you do, good for you, but it's not often. Yeah, and taxes are, are a little bit on the higher end here in, in Hasbro Heights. Now, I always say, like, you know, from, from working in this town quite a bit, uh, this is actually, it's funny, this is our first episode because this is where I started yeah, yeah. in the real estate. It only seemed fitting. It, it actually did work out. It wasn't intentional, but it did work out. Yeah. Um, but it's a town that I've always really liked. Mm-hmm. Um, and that um, Lodi, like a town like Lodi, you'll see like their taxes are very high too. They are. But when you compare a Lodi to a Hasbro Heights, and not to put down Lodi, it has some great things about it as well. Uh, but Hasbro Heights is... is a more desirable town. Like, so what you get is actually justified in the taxes that you pay, so to speak. Right. It's like the taxes are higher here in Hasbro Heights, but you have, you know, great school pride and... and I was going to say, it seems like a lot of people are very prideful in Hasbro Heights in general. Yep. You, know, you see, see the see orange it. and black everywhere. Exactly. Kids wearing Hasbro Heights all over. A lot of swag. Yeah, a lot of swag, <laughs> a lot of swag. And, um, yeah, just good... It's always seemed very, very like a good school. Now, we always, you know, I, I don't like saying good schools or bad schools yeah. because it's all relative to of what course. somebody believes. But if we were to look, as so many people do, and, and some a lot of the big websites, you know, real estate websites, you know, rate schools, you know, is greatschools.org. Um, so if you look like their elementary school, so there's two elementary schools here in Hasbro Heights. Uh, one is ranked 8 out of 10, and the other one is 7 out of 10. And then their middle school is 7 out of 10. Their high school is 6 out of 10. Okay. Um, so, you know, not pretty, pretty good schools. Yeah. Um, and, again, it's all relative of to course. what you're looking for in a good exactly. school system. Um, and then also, I mean, just some amenities and just kind of some of the stuff about being in town, right? So we were driving around. The turf field, I mean, is gorgeous. The turf field is sick. I also noticed the pool. Yep, you've got the pool, some playgrounds and stuff like that. A couple parks. A couple parks uh, on top of the hill. And the view, right? You were saying when we drove yeah, down. What's, uh, is that Terrace? Terrace Ave. Yeah, yeah, so on Terrace, you definitely notice, like, looking out to the right. Pay attention while you're driving. But um, if you're the passenger, if you look out to the right, you're getting some pretty insane views of the city. Yeah, at night, if you've never driven down uh, Terrace Ave at night, You'll especially even in the winter because all the trees are kind of down. Oh yeah, so it's more exposed, right? You, on a clear night, you have a great shot of the city, uh, which is just a really cool bonus if you live in one of those houses that kind of has it in their backyard. Yeah, of course. I mean, I've shown. I remember showing houses. I just, I would just buy you alone, right? <laughs> yeah, right. You would just. Yeah. I mean, you just sit there and you just look at it. It's it's uh, it's really cool. So, totally. um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I think the one thing that we also should touch on just as far as the downtown mm-hmm. of, of Hasbro Heights here. Cause I know I've noticed a lot of people as they're coming from the city, as they're coming from, you know, Hoboken, Weehawken, Jersey city. They still want that feel, right? Well, yeah. Like community is probably, I'd say community is like the number one word I've been hearing yeah. recently. Um, tell me a little bit, like from your knowledge and you're just even driving down today, like what do you, how do you describe the boulevard to somebody? Yeah, so I, I would say that it's kind of like the best of both worlds where you can still go to your home, which seems like it's very residential and quiet, but a two minute drive or even a five minute walk puts you right on the boulevard where, where it still kind of gives you that city feel, right? Not to the point that you have necessarily beeping cars and, and uh you know, skyscrapers, so to speak, but you definitely feel a little bit more of like a busy road and you're, you're able to pick up maybe a sandwich and, uh, then, you know, hit like a little shop or there's a little deli on the corner. Like I would say that you definitely kind of get that, that busy feel that you want in a city while still having the quietness of a residential area only a block or two away. Right. You know, would you agree with that? Yeah. Like there's a, the energy here, like things yeah, are, yeah. you know, of course not in New York City or Weehawken energy, but there is still that vibe. It's not like you're out. It's not a dead town, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but at the same time, it's not a place where you're saying, oh, let's go to the boulevard for our night out with the guys or yeah. the girls or whatever. Like, I, I would say You're not that, throwing bachelor or bachelorette no, parties not, not here. Even close. <laughs> and I would even say like trying to compare it, you can't really compare it to even like a a Montclair, Ridgewood, uh, Westwood even, because those, like, I feel like are a little bit um, more boutique type of thing. Like, I'd say, like, on their main strips, they have, like, shop after shop after shop. These are a lot of businesses, I would say, on the boulevard, but there's still a fair amount of stuff to do. A few good restaurants that you could hit. And the other thing, too, about the location of Hasbro Heights is that even if Hasbro Heights doesn't have what you want to offer, there's 
to your point, eight towns all within a rock toss away. I was just telling you about the rooftop bar at the concourse, right? Right, right on 17. Yep. Um, that's a three minute Uber ride there. Yep. Drive responsibly. Uh, you know, so that's that's another way that you could spend your night. If it doesn't have it in Hasbrook Heights, it has a really good location that you can still do what you want all within a five, ten minute drive. Yeah, that's a great point because when we were living in Lodi, we would come here, right, and at uh, yeah. the Heights Bar and Grill where yep. we are now and uh, places in Woodridge, places all over. It's mm-hmm. really easy to get to. Uh, and one thing I realized we didn't notice as we were kind of talking about like the energy and the location and stuff is Teterboro Airport is close by yes so we have a private jet this is the perfect town for you (laughs) i was going that is true i was going more along the lines of you know just keep in mind you do have airplanes going by of course you you hear that right you have trains planes it's it's a busier town it's a busier residential town right so if a busy residential town is what you're looking for with still that home feel i personally think that hasbro kites could be an awesome fit for you all right, man. Well, listen. I think this. I think this went great. Um, you know, guys. We're. This is something we're just getting started at. So we're always open to feedback. If there's something that we didn't cover uh, that you think is a really important part, maybe you live in Hasbro Heights. Maybe you grew up here. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe you grew up here. You know the town really well, and we missed something that you think is really important. Let us know. We'll definitely make sure we add that. And if you're looking for another town that you're interested in, you want to know more about, uh, drop it in the comments. Reach out to us directly. Yeah. And. Uh, I think that's a wrap for this one. Awesome. Appreciate you, Pete. All right. Until the next one. Cool. Take care. See you.